Hey everybody, listen, if you're watching the replay, make sure you follow, not just like. That way it'll notify you when we have a new video or if we go live. Um, let me get my little workstation straightened up right here while everybody is jumping on. Um, got a couple of things to show you that I got in from Amazon that I think it'll help us crafting in the future. All right, when you jump on, hey, Sherry from Ohio, um, Helen from Georgia, hey, Sharon. All right, I'm going to put the water over here, Chris, so I don't mess your stuff up. All right, got a couple things in. One is a crafter told me about it. We were talking on Sins Crafters. First thing, don't forget to, uh, to ask to join um, Sins Crafter so you can see what all we do and what we have and everybody share and do. Hey, Patty from Ohio, Mississippi, Louisiana. I was just uh, reading a book today about Nolo Nolens. Uh, pretty cool. Michigan, all right. Sonia Wilson, thank you for watching. Um... Is that like Buffy T-Y-T-Y? -T -Y. That's Ty-Ty, Georgia? Where is that? I won't have to figure out. Is that like a nickname for something? Hey, girl, looks like you're feeling better. Yes, listen. I'm going to go ahead and tell you before you... Let me turn off the comments up here so I can see on the craft and I can see better um, here. Ooh, I touched somebody's name like I did the other day. I'm trying to send somebody a message. Um... Been out the yard. So I told Bobby a while ago, I said, there's no use in even trying to brush my hair. We are just keeping it real tonight. It was beautiful again today in Waynesburg, Georgia. So Chris was on the tractor all day. Buffy was exercising outside. I was shoveling dirt, planting flowers, straightening up. Hey, Lynn from Lauderdale. <laughs> uh, Oak Hill, West Virginia, Illinois, North Carolina. I think we just got New, New Hampshire. All right, I don't get to say New Hampshire very often. No, it is 20 miles from Tifton, Georgia. Is it like it, so Ty Ty is like an actual, or do you, is that nickname for Tifton? Hey, see him from Summertown, ten, ten, uh, Tennessee. Okay, I believe this was Kim recommended this book off of um, Amazon. Um, and it, it looks like it's got a lot of little activities for you. Got some like little crafting ideas, but I'm trying to get to the pages where it'll talk to you about spacing the letters. And then towards the back, it actually has like old school kindergarten books. Like, you know, it actually gives you little um, lines to practice letters on. That looks like over, a little lowercase. And then I guess you got like a little test at the end to see how you do. I think this is going to be good. I just got it off um, from FedEx today. I ordered it. What did we talk about it a couple of days ago? And I got it. Um, but yes, Sherry, it was a wonderful day. Summertown, Tennessee. Glassboro, New Jersey. Hudlow 61 here today. Judy, I don't know if that's high for you. It sounds pretty perfect to me. 61 is... My kind of weather. I mean, right now I have shorts on. I have no shoes on. Bottom of my feet are what we, I don't know if Northerners call it, but us Southerners call them grocery store feet. Um, <laughs> he's laughing at me. They, I had, um, had to put my sandals on today, like your work little sandals, because there's no way I could wear socks and tennis shoes when it's 73 outside. And we were working in the yard, shoveling, you know, trying to get, you know, just done with all this rain. It's moved a lot of, things around in our yard but Chris did a good job today getting it back together uh North Dakota what's the weather like Cheryl in North Dakota if it's 71 here what are y'all maybe high 40s or something the town in Tiff County oh okay all right so I'm gonna practice this and um I'll let y'all know if it's worth getting I don't think the book was very expensive I'd have to go back and look but I don't think it was what ten fifteen dollars but if it'll help me with lettering i think it's worth it 
And after you uh, practice your capital letters, and it looks like in the beginning, it kind of tells you how to shade um, your letters, you know, to make some of them thicker, you know, hold on, this is a better right here. Some of them thicker on one side, like go ahead and write it and then learn to shade it. So I will let you know if it's worth it um, to get or not, because if I can work, learn to do like this, and it turned out to look like that family, then I would say it's worth $50. <laughs> but I never have to do that. Okay, another thing we talked about that I got in, I'm so excited. And I'm not going to use it tonight because I haven't kind of, I haven't even turned it on. So, you know, I'm not going to play with it in front of y'all. But look at this. It's the little table. And this little sucker is heavy. The little tabletop saw. It's like a real little saw, y'all. And they say it's powerful. Um, for cutting, you know, like the little pieces of wood that I had last night. Um, you know, perfect paint sticks, if it's the thicker paint sticks, things like that. It's got like a little safeguard that'll help you um, push your wood through. This is like a little shield, so I guess the little stuff doesn't spray up and hit you in the sawdust. But, uh, yes, the book, Patty, I'll let you know um, how it works out. Now, she recommended this book. You have to go on Sins Crafters. And she said that she liked it. When I went on Amazon to find it, they had tons of them. Um, so, you know, I don't know if one's better than the other. I got the one she said. And I kind of like that. I kinda, that's the way I went through kindergarten. You know, like if you're going to write an A and learn how to write a certain way, you just keep practicing it, practicing, practicing, and then you go down to B's, things like that. So, y'all excited about my power tools. I'm definitely gonna need some kind of shop for all this stuff, but y'all look, a new clean piece of paper. Everything's out of the way, y'all. I am still sweating from working outside. I know about this ponytail I got going on, if y'all could see, which my shirt didn't do too bad today. I didn't get, one time I looked down and I did have uh, mulch all over it, so. You be careful, my friend cut the tip of her finger on the table saw. Sherry, that's why I got this little tiny one because out of all the power tools, I'm not really scared of any of them, but I am scared of a table saw. I don't know why. I mean, it's, it is a blade, of course, like, you know, but it's a smaller blade than say I love my miter saw, all kind of things like that. But a table saw really does scare me. That's the one thing I don't want to own. And I, if I ever have to have anything, I take it to somebody else. Um, but maybe if it's little, it'll be worth it. Especially last night when Chris and I had to cut those and those little, it, they paint, those five gallon paint sticks are a little too big to cut with my um, industrial scissors. And it just seems like you get such big saws out for something that's just tiny. So I'm hoping it'll be um, good. But I ordered it, Harbor Freight. It was like $37. Um, I actually ordered a $5 extra blade and it came with the extra blades. Now I have three blades, so I probably will never have to buy another blade for it. That's, and it's so cute. Yes. I mean, it's super cute, but Sandy, it is powerful. So, um, Hey April, sent you a private message. Check it later. I sure will. The thing you sent me, April, you tagged me in with the little bunnies is beyond cute. I've definitely got to do that. Mm. A scroll saw is the scroll saw like the y'all and I y'all would have been so proud of me. Listen, you don't know hardly hear it when I go really slow. You hear it. I put oil on it. That's why I was a little late. I was like, I'm gonna go get this stuff for this stupid chair. And we're running like and that's why I ran late because I was getting oil. Then I was like, where do you put it? That's better. I don't hear it as much, but I'm freezing up. Uh, don't tell me that. I don't have anything else going. On mine, I'm not freezing up, Jane. You may have to go back out and come in if it's just you. But if everybody, y'all, give me lots of hearts. If, um, woohoo, road trip, Harbor Freight, here I come. Yes. I ordered mine. I, you know, I can't go right now. And Chris forgot because that was supposed to be my Valentine's Day present. <laughs> So finally he looked at me the other day and he was like, why don't you just order it? And I think it was like Saturday. I got it today. Um, so it didn't take very long. Um, not on mine, good on my end, not on fine. Okay. Miss Jane, it might just be you. I hate to point you out like that. <laughs> Look at 
with me. I'm talking about y'all. You can see the shorts I have on. I'm talking about complete yard clothes. Okay, because you know I'm not a t-shirt person. You're good on mine. Okay, let's get our craft out. Uh, Gina, I'm using your letters you brought me. You know how you can get these letters at Dollar Tree? I, I know that uh, Hobby Lobby has these, and normally Hobby Lobby is a little bit bigger. But just like anything else, wait till the particular uh, metal pieces are 50% off, which is about every other week before you buy them. But usually theirs are a little bit bigger. But at the Dollar Tree, this one is Spring Bunny and Welcome. I was looking back in my little container what they look like in the fall. And they were harvest, grateful, and welcome. So welcome may be the one that they're just gonna kind of put in all of them. But tonight, I think we're gonna use just the bunny. But I'll leave the spring. I'm gonna leave them closed in case we change our mind and do spring. I hate to use spring on like an Easter type craft because then I feel like I can't leave it up. Even though, you know, springtime will always be, you know, with bunnies and stuff, but still, you know, my crazy logic. Good on my end. Sorry, late again. Diana, you have not missed anything with me running my mouth and showing you all my good little neat tools. All right, this I got from the Dollar Tree. Love things like this because they're good parts. Little multi-dimensional because the nose kind of sticks out a little bit. We're not going to use this bow, but love these carrots. Either you like them for a stencil on something else or um, you can use them on a... Uh, um, another project, just keep them out. All right, y'all, I am completely stumped. I have two of these, and I cannot remember where I got them. I believe I got them from Walmart, but do not quote me on that. And I, my phone, it's got a barcode, and I got this little barcode app that can tell me, but I can't because I'm on my telephone. But I believe I got it from Walmart. See, it looks like a little palette. Um, I know I wouldn't have gotten something like this out of the Dollar Tree. It's got like a good little hanger on it, um, like with teeth. Um, it's sort of light, you know, not, not, not super light, but not too heavy. Sorry, late again, I went and got mine so I can work on that while I'm off. All right, I can't wait to wear shorts, so sick of snow. <laughs> Sandy, I'll tell you, 73 is pretty up there for me today, but we had a the past couple of days we've had a really good breeze. So um, yesterday I wore socks and tennis shoes and was super hot, even though, you know, the breeze. Today, having my like little work sandals on, you know, cause whatever my feet and head are is what I am. So they stay pretty cool. So it really was beautiful outside. I keep looking at whatever this like little hump, it probably got caught in branches. I was moving limbs and stuff. I think Walmart, I saw one yesterday. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got this. Usually I don't buy things like this unless they're on sale at Hobby Lobby and I don't remember getting this at Hobby Lobby um, the last time I went. So I'm pretty sure I probably got it at Walmart. So okay, we're gonna take all this apart. But I'm gonna show you all these neutral, really pretty colors I got out that I love. Cause they're kind of, they're, they're Easter-y but they're very um, spring. This is a sea glass and it's um, it's a blue. It looks a lot brighter than it is on there. I got out a moss, which is really a light mossy green. Um, this says that it's vintage duck egg. I don't even know if I've ever used this. I think I really wanted to, um, but I haven't. And then I just got my cotton out, which is the white, because I think I'm gonna do him maybe white. But if not, I'll grab my old trusty um, plaster, which is my favorite. And I'll show y'all the difference. Not off-white, but see, it's just got like that kind of farmhouse white. I don't know how to explain that. I think I say it every day. All right, I also got out uh, the cinnamon and the crushed up clove, the ground clove. Um, if we want to rust it out a little bit, because I really don't want to do this Easter colors um the bright pastels i want them to do more of in this family like kind of what real egg colors are um for real little bird eggs little bird eggs like what other kind of eggs would i be talking about all right spread the craft it was 70 in knoxville tennessee oh my gosh it was 70 in knoxville today it was 70 here um spread the craft 
So is that like a new thing? If it is, it's awesome. I saw those at Walmart. Okay, thanks. Um, hello from Phoenix, 80 today. Oh man. But y'all don't have the humidity out west, right? It's just hot from the sun, but you can get in the shade and it's okay. Here in the south, with this humidity, even when it gets really, really hot, and uh, we're gonna put this at the bottom, and we're gonna put our word up top. But he's not gonna be all kind of smiley face. He's gonna lick a little farmhouse. So I got to remember that this is the top. Okay, I want to do kind of like a little shiplap colors. Uh, these colors that I really like, I wanna um, do each one a different color and then we'll um, distress them a little bit because this is real wood, so I'm gonna um, be able to um, sand them a little bit. All right, let's get out our paint brushes. I actually washed my paint brushes here lately and I can't get them all in my little container. I don't see if you, if you can tell it's like bowed up. Minnesota hit 39, is that good? Seems like that's kind of good for y'all. I live in Knoxville and love the 70 degrees today. Oh gosh, I bet so. I have not been to Knoxville since. Chris and I went, I think we were just dating, which would have been over 25 years ago, for New Year's Eve one year. I don't even think I was 21 yet. I think I had a fake ID. You know, the good old days when, you know, you were dying to go out and be older. Now, I'd give anything to be carded when I go somewhere and it never happens. Okay, we're gonna use this vintage duck egg. I mean, and really, I don't know if you can tell how really pretty it looks. A little almost sky blue on here, but it's really dark. That is a heat wave in February. I bet you it is for um, Minnesota. Okay. I think I'm just gonna be able to use the paint on the lid. Yes, this is like so pretty. It's like the color. Um, when you want to paint like a robin's egg, is it a robin's egg that's kind of like this really pretty blue, gray almost? But then after you sit there and you look at the paints for hours, they start, you get too blue or too gray. This looks like the perfect color for guesswork. Now this is Dixie Belle uh, duck, a vintage duck egg. I guess it's supposed to be what a duck. I've never seen ducks eggs. I have where? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they just look like an egg underwater. They were just white. They weren't this blue color. I think that's just a um, plate way. Yep, you came to see me there. Yes, Peggy. We went out. Chris's aunt lived in Knoxville. Chris, that's the last time we've been to Knoxville when we went out on New Year's Eve. Have we went back since then? I don't. I can't I don't remember. Think we're allowed back there. <laughs> Chris said, "I don't think we're allowed back there." Oh my gosh, y'all! We abused this poor cab driver in this minivan. On the way home, it was hilarious. Chris likes to, working for Bell South, quote, directions. You know, people give you, you know, like him working for the phone company out in an area like we are. It's not like in the city where he can just give you a block name. You know, he'd have to, you know, he'd get a road. They have a route in the box. Yeah, a route. A long time ago, it would just be, he would know where, like, the box that your phone worked out of, but he wouldn't also know. And it could be a road that there's one house on it, and the road is 10 miles long. So he, would, he was imitating how people give him directions to get to their house. And he was giving those funny directions to the cab driver that took us home that night as we're all had a little too much and it's, you know, what, three o'clock in the morning, probably whatever. And we were all laughing so hard. And, and you know, this person was probably sober and did not think we were funny at all, but we thought he was hilarious. <laughs> it is nice to be outside today. Loved it. Yes, Linda, I had a great time. Good evening. Hey, Wanda, me either. Peggy, you haven't been back there. Peggy said she hasn't been back there either. I don't think we've been back there either. No. Uh, that I can think of. 
Uh, Robin's eggs are about that color, but duck eggs are white. That's what Chris just said. One time our pond flooded when our the ducks we had in the pond laid eggs, and I can remember them washing the runaround. I can remember them just being white. But yeah, Robin's egg, I would think that would be, you know, more of what this color is, but maybe they just wanted to jazz the name up a little bit. Pretty color, yes. I don't know now if you can see it, how... It's just, it looks so blue on yours. I don't know if it's the, I have different modes on this light. And let me see for just a second if you can get more of a truer color on another set. Yes, that looks, I don't so much like the light for me, but see, it just changes the blue. See, that's the one I usually use, but that really looks like a truer color. So let's keep it on that for, you know, that way I can show you how pretty these gifts have cut. See, it's almost like a gray. All right, let's keep that open because I've got so many that I probably am going to have to use multiple colors. They were right of us in the cab. They were right of us in the cab. Hold on. Um, party people, Sandy, it was <laughs> a poor cab driver. You know, you know they, they probably are so used to it, you know, but it was hilarious. Chris was, we were just all rolling, you know, just rolling. It was hilarious. Okay, this is the one that says sea glass. I have used this one before. And it's just a little bit Almost the same color, but maybe a little brighter. But we did have a good time when we were in Knoxville. Chris's aunt that's on here lived there at the time. Gosh, Peggy, that was, if it was, I was 21, let's see, 46. I was not 21 yet. So let's see, like maybe 27 years ago. Mm, we're getting old. It's almost like we're doing like a color palette. No pun intended. Put it on the end. Eight. Not right. Hold on. Eight. I can't remember. I think everyone agrees that you should make a plant shell for Neely's new apartment. <laughs> Neely's on here, Chris. Yeah. And she sent me a picture, y'all, of this plant stand. My baby's all into growing house plants. And y'all, I can kill a house plant easy. So that's the one thing her mama cannot help her with. Um, and she sent me this like plant stand that kind of goes in triangles. <laughs> she said, I think everyone agrees that you should make a plant shelf for Neely's new apartment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Neely is moving for the 5,000th time this weekend, but her daddy's going to help her. I'm going to meet them at the apartment, but I'm not loading up the first thing, unloading it. I told her the last time I moved her, that was it. Hate moving. It's awful. I can't, my family is from and in Knoxville and Bristol. Bristol, um, Chris, that's where you went to watch the race? Oh, yeah. I've been to Bristol. Yeah, Chris yeah, loves yeah, Bristol, the, the, the racetrack. Well, he used to in the cab. Yes, Peggy, it, it is hilarious. So you weren't there sightseeing? No. We strictly went to go out on New Year's Eve. She's talking about Knoxville. Um, no, Janet, we really went just to go out. Um, just getting on, what are we making tonight? We're just making like probably a shelf set or a or hanger, um, and we're gonna have bunny, but we're actually using kind of some vintage uh, Easter colors. Yes, make your daughter a plant stand. <laughs> oh, South Carolina, okay. So let's put a little, let me break this up and put a, a, like a little, I don't know if I can go white, y'all. I think I'm gonna stick with my plaster. Um, I just don't think I can do it. I, I got brave enough to at least bring it out here. Okay, but I'm going to break this up a little bit before I put the moss of the green on. And this, y'all, 
I wouldn't say just use any color. Sometimes you kind of have to, uh, you know, at least let them be like somehow in their same color wheel. But know you got lots of help out there. Like go on Pinterest or, or even if you Google, you know, uh, uh, Robin's Egg uh, Color Palette. Robin's Egg Blue Color Palette. It'll show you other colors that you may not um, have known or, or realize that it, that, you know, they look great together. I mean, and these, some people, they do that for a living. So trust their professionalism. And, um, all right, now we're gonna bring in this moss green. I love that color. Hey, from Oregon, Oregon, happy birth, happy Neely, y'all. Her birthday was yesterday. Ooh, I have not even opened this one. I thought I had a moss that I already opened. Let's see. Yes, I did. I went in there bringing all these colors out and grabbed it, but I already have one that's open. She was a big 24 yesterday. Neely, you're getting on up there. <laughs> Let's see, I'm 46, so see, you're like, you know, more than half my age now, so welcome to being old. <laughs> And y'all, it's so sweet. Her boyfriend's birthday is the day before hers. And I think she said he was born like late at night. So they're only like 12 hours difference in their age. I love that color. Okay. Hey, Neely. Happy birthday week. Neely, we were close. Mine is today. Oh, well, Sherry, happy birthday. Everybody tell Sherry happy birthday. She is the one on Sins Crafters that does, she does a lot of like primitive crafting and she does a lot of crafting i see her stuff all the time and i get jealous because she obviously gets to stay home and craft all the time now it's kind of um hard to get in between here doing multiple colors so if you don't want to kind of ombre it somewhat or or distress it at the end um, you may have to go back and touch your colors up. But every time a color hits the one before it, I just kind of rub it with my finger. And so it'll kind of just go in together. But you only have to like be real careful on that one side because the next one would be okay because you haven't painted the one beside it yet. Now, I don't want this to get too rainbowy. So at the end, if I have to, um, you know, whitewash it a little bit, I can, because I don't want it to do that. But it seems like a good little board that would uh, work well for the beach, beach projects. Oh, we have 102 people on here. Oh. Y'all, some of y'all just must be really, really quiet. Everybody is telling you happy birthday. That's so sweet. Hey, Sheila from Kentucky. Oh, that's so sweet. Neely for yesterday and Sherry for today. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all are like the sweetest people. The messages, the inboxes that y'all send me that I get every day are just sweet. And y'all always thanking me and telling me you love my crafts. It's, it's really, really sweet, and I and I thank you for it. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe do, I'm say I'm doing it random, but I think I got an idea in my head how I wanna do this. I'm gonna go back to the second one, the egg one. Ooh, my brushes are trying to get the, um, not egg one, the sea glass. No, but y'all are all so sweet. Always sending me the sweetest messages. I love when you ask questions. Sometimes y'all ask me a lot of questions every day, 
And I always tell you, you're not bothering me. I love to answer questions because sometimes if I don't know, I like to um, find the answer for you. So no, it is much appreciated. A little please hit right there. I'm just gonna rub it with my finger. Yeah, I like these colors. And you can mix these colors up. If you decide you wanted to do a different color for everything, um, you know, maybe take your white or your plaster and use the same colors. Just put a little white in it. It'll make them brighter. Um, I'm actually going to use the same colors. Um, just kind of go out. The moss is the only one that I'm not going to use again. Neely, I wish I could make you a plant stand, maybe, but you don't live where Mama lives, so I'd have to make it and load it up and bring it to you. How about if you just find you one on Amazon and Mama will get it for you? <laughs> But her daddy's going up there and loading all her stuff up and moving it for her because he's a sucker. I told her last time, I said, that's it, I'm not moving. She goes, oh, I love it, Lana. I'm staying here. <laughs> uh, we love and enjoy you. Thank you so much, Diane. I mean, I really do. I, I love the questions I give every day. Y'all all so, so nice and sweet and, and, uh, and then you think that sometimes you aggravate me or I'm like, trust me, you do not um, aggravate me at all. I love questions. I love when that little thing pops up. And it does a lot. Um, but I love it because um, you, I get to see what you're working on. Or even if you're just sending me a message to say how sweet you think I am. <laughs> My family would be like, you don't know her. They all think I'm aggravating because I talk so much. You know, you love each other, but you want to choke each other too. We're all up in each other's business, which I'll tell you, I've not seen my sisters even before I tested positive for COVID in a while. Maybe we're just together so much in the fall and the summer that we have to take a break. You make my day. Even I don't do crafting every day. I still watch a couple of... Oh, you're so sweet. And you do a lot of crafting, Judy. But I love it. Take an old ladder and have Chris cut some boards. That's what Patty... Oh, hold on. Uh, check them out in Pinterest. That's kind of what she sent me a picture of. It looked like the ladder because it goes up like that. That really looked like what she um, kind of wanted. And see, she lives in a place where they probably have good thrift stores. Where she can find like an old antique ladder. I'm liking when these colors kind of get on the white. Because, you know, I don't want such a starky color. Okay. I'm liking it. It's a little rough. I could could have used some sanding, but because I'm gonna sand it, that's why I didn't stop and go back and worry about it. Okay. Love watching you. Hope you are better. We got our second vaccine today. All right, cool. Uh, I think my mama got her second one, and Mimi goes in about a week and a half, not this Saturday, next Saturday. Um, so everybody in our family that's needing one is getting one. 
Love watching you. Hope you're better. We're okay. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love your videos. You're so real. Let, yes and glory. We keeping it real to you know, especially today with this outfit and this. I don't. I'm not surprised if I don't have like mulch in my hair because. Yeah, I mean, one time I hit my foot, and you know how, like, the mulch just, it was just all over me. Um, lo hey, Lottie. Thank you. Uh, love watching your craft. Love all of your color choices. Yes, I love this. I mean, it looks a little, I mean, kind of from this angle, it would be really good for beach projects. But I love, last year, let me take a little brush, y'all. I'm going to have to really pick a color for these, like, little... The, the slight little slats that are holding it together on the back you can see on peeking through. I think I'm just gonna pick this color. I like this color. This It says duck, vintage duck egg, but it looks like a robin's egg, like just like she said. Ooh, and I can put that down because we got us a nice, I had to get my vacuum out, y'all. Um, like the little auric thing. I had so much sawdust up here from last night. Us nipping the, um, listen, I, I might as well just give them a little coat of paint back here. <laughs> It'll clean it up. Nobody's gonna see on the back, y'all, but it doesn't always make it look a little, we just won't probably, um, clean it all up. Uh, you're so down to earth and real that pulls us all closer. I am so glad, y'all, cause I can't, um, I gotta, as Dave Chappelle would say, gotta keep it real. And today is about as real as it gets. I mean, I even went in the bathroom and I was going like, I'm going to try to brush my hair so they're not thinking, you know, what kind of helter-skelter look is she going for today? Um, but um, it was no hope for it. And I really was scared to take it down and brush it and all this stuff would start coming out of it. Probably got spiders all in it from that mulch. But you know how when you have to tear things down out in the yard to kind of put them back together? It actually somewhat is starting to look like a yard again today. We're working tomorrow. It's supposed to be just as pretty as today was. Um, but I think we're supposed to get a little rain Friday. I don't know. It changes daily for us. Um... And I have not checked it since maybe yesterday morning, so I'm hopefully, I'm still gonna get my pretty weather to finish my yard stuff. So. All right, there we go. So we have cleaned up all the little edges that I feel like somebody could see if they went being nosy. Okay, not very much, still left the center. But that way when you see into the little corners here, at least on the side, um, okay. So, I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, I was trying. You can reuse it for beach three. Yes, just jumped on. What are you making, Shelly? We are making a bunny, but we're using some maybe vintage colors. Um, and we're gonna put our bunny face on here. Let's take this off so we can... Maybe dry. And y'all, look, it's staples on here, but one of them came up when I pulled on it. And I need to leave my plaster down here. Um, uh, y'all, I need to maybe put some of my little, uh, my little oil I brought out here underneath it. I put it just on like the little hinges, but where I sit my booty is obviously, hey, Brenda, I'm late, so not sure what you're making, but I love the colors. We're making like a bunny sign, but we're using kind of like maybe vintage eggs or like natural bird eggs. We're using their colors. Let's see if we can get 
Of course, one is coming up and then one, oh, no, nope, that one both came up. All right, definitely cutting this off. It's really short. I don't think we could use it even if we wanted to hang it up, but ooh, the bow came right up. Not hard at all. He's got a little dimension on his nose, but other than that, he's pretty flat. So, I'm gonna uh, put a little glue in uh, these holes. And then when I sand it, we'll get that little excess glue off. And we're gonna keep these. We may use one, but I'm not really sure. My board looked like it was the perfect size for um, just the bunny, but we'll see. Okay, I wanna keep this nice clean board. All right. I am going to Scratch him just for a second. I was trying to find a way to hang my, I came up with a coat pop thing, but on both sides, gonna hang it in the bathroom. All right, love the colors. Yes, I'm really loving these colors um, on that. And what we're gonna do with the bunny, I'm just gonna keep it on the white side. Now we're gonna distress this, but I'm not gonna make it too farmhousey because I like the colors the way it is. I just don't want it to be so crisp and pretty as far as um you know especially the white but I, I i'm loving these colors all right that's pretty much dried so we're gonna take a little bit of that and just make it smooth i'm always telling you you can make texture with your hot glue gun so you actually could go all over like any kind of bunny you're using um, and circle it, especially a low temp glue gun. And it would look like fur when you painted it. It would have like a little bit of texture to it. There we go. I want to kind of pull it up, but I don't want to pull it out the hole. And y'all, this irritates me when you like see the cute little projects and it still have like the hole from where, and it's not hard to fill up. All right, there you go. And this is like a cardboard piece so that, you know, you could easily do this with, um, um, cardboard or, um, poster board. All right, so we're gonna get our white back out. We had a beautiful weather today, 67 in Kentucky, yes. I'm hoping everybody had beautiful weather. Hey, Sin, uh, Lenore from uh, Connecticut. All right, we've gotten all the, all the Southeast states. Who all we got out West? Do we have any from, I don't think I, have I ever had anybody from California, but maybe one or two people? Uh, Utah, we have, um, Oregon, y'all have to tell me if you are, y'all, if y'all are, y'all are really quiet. Us East Coast, Coast girls, we, you know, we all don't have a problem. 37 in Michigan today. So that seems pretty good for Michigan. Uh, driving me nuts. And y'all, this is not like my cut stuff, so I'm gonna make sure I, I paint him on the side. Um, I don't even know how to begin to say Lynn Mucca, Nevada, but Arizona, look at y'all, Maine. I knew y'all girls were here, you just weren't saying anything. I was telling Chris, who was it last night? Was it you? It was maybe Diane or Diana that were, when I said, which one do y'all, do y'all like this? And y'all went, yes, like I could hear what you were saying. Indiana. All right. Indiana's on this side, right? <laughs> 
Y'all, I'm so dumb. And I mean that in the kindest, bless your heart way that I am not book smart, which knowing where your states are should be like a, you know, like a, a giving, kind of knowing your multiplication tables. But I think they've messed all that up now. I mean, the one thing that we had going for us that, you know, math was the same way in the whole world. And the last time I tried to help somebody's kid with their math homework a few years ago, I mean, I had to like group 10s and it was just like 10 plus three. And they had to like change it the 10 to a 10 and the three was like extra three. And I was like, you should just know that. <laughs> Write it a hundred times and you'll never forget that 10 plus three is 13. And they were like, no, that's not how we do it anymore. And then I was like, okay, well, I cannot help you with math. Who changes math? And they seemed just as confused as I was. And they were like in the fourth grade. I mean, remember when you were in school, did you ever, like, get in trouble? And I probably used to get in trouble all the time, talking or something. And, you know, your teacher would have, make you write 5,000 times or 100 times, I will not talk in class or I will not, you know, spit on somebody, whatever little kids do to each other, throw rocks, put a booger on each other, whatever they do. Um... And you have to write it. I understand your hand be all tired. And you're like, you, you'd write, I, 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 I. And then you're like, wheel, 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 wheel. <laughs> I mean, like, how do you, if you, the kids don't know that, how do they get in trouble? I mean, do they have to type it out? Because, I mean, typing out, I will not do something could probably be aggravating. Just maybe, do you have to do it 5,000 times instead of 100? But, um... And that's like a memory thing, too. That's why I don't understand why they don't, they don't have to go like one plus one is two and do it. After you write it a hundred times, you never forget one plus one is two. Doesn't matter how old you are. Oh, I feel so bad for math teachers. Can you imagine being like a, a 30 year old, a 30, not 30 year old, but thir been teaching math for 30 years and they come in one day and go, okay, we're fixing to change it all up. Yes, they do like, look like duck heads. Off out loud. Uh, chew gum sure does look like a duck on the back. Oh, it does. You're saying up here. It does. Y'all need a duck kid. Just cut it off or like trace it on the piece of paper so you'll have like the template. Sure does look like a duck head. Time out. Time out. Does time out work? Because mine would just look at me and. Like, really, I gotta go sit over here? I stayed at home with mine, so I did spoil them. I will admit that. But I didn't spoil them and then send them off for somebody else to have to babysit them all day. And people do that all the time. That's what I would tell my mom. I was like, yeah, mine are spoiled, but I mean, I, I, I'm the one that has to deal with them. <laughs> Don't spoil your kids and then send them to somebody else. And oh my gosh, those cute little things that are on jokes that you'll see like after these parents had to homeschool their kids for a while and it would say yeah you thought your kid was an angel and you're learning they're not those little angels i always got in trouble for talking don't know how many times i had to write oh my gosh i had to my teachers must love that you know like i will not do that i will not run in the hallway anything you got in trouble with i will you know when you write it on a piece of paper and you just write i i i i Right, that common core math is something else. I, listen, I did not get it. I mean, why, why change math? I mean, that's the, that's the only thing universal in the world is math. One plus one is the same here as it is in China or, you know, any place in Europe, any place in any any continent, any country, you know, they all are the same. Right, that comes. And I feel so bad for parents. Can you imagine, like, them coming home? And you see those on there, there's, like, those parents getting so frustrated. If you're home teaching them or you've been at work all day and then you have to come home and teach kids schoolwork. 
And, and some of them are like, listen, I'm just going back to teaching them how I know when they get back in school, y'all have to like teach them, you know, some other way. But I feel so sorry for the parents. We had to clean the chalkboard and clap the erasers. Oh, yeah. And remember how like those black erasers would have those like lines and it get in between them? Yes. I heard the school system got more funds by teaching that math. Ugh. I feel so bad for, um you know, teachers that you have, you know, you have a kind of a set way you, you teach your kids, especially if it's math, something that doesn't change. And all of a sudden it's just different. I don't know, bless them. That's a show sure enough bless their heart moment because I, I, I couldn't help them. I even knew a math teacher here that was, you know, loved math and, you know, loved teaching it. And, and they were like, this is just awful. The kids weren't responding to it. And then I don't think they teach them cursive writing anymore. Like Neely, like Buffy will even say she hates to write in cursive and she's just 22 years old. I don't think, I'm one of those people that, you know, when it tells you on some kind of application, print here. I'll probably print everything, but then when you get to the Y, you still make this loop on it. I told her, even Chris will say, and he's he's a man, he says, I, 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 I don't even think, he said, I can't remember the last time I printed anything. But, you know, when we were in school, remember we used to take typing. Now they don't have typing anymore. It's keyboarding. <laughs> we just, I'm just showing my age now. Tried carbon paper, had to write twice. Yeah, smart. I wasn't good at math 50 years ago. I know I couldn't do it now. See, and I love math. Maybe that's why it's so heartbreaking for me. Is the math was the one thing I was really good at. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I had great teachers. We have some great teachers here in town. Um, that are just retiring now. All some of the teachers that were my teachers. But I, I love math, and I couldn't imagine it being different. And and then and then the little girl that I was helping her with the homework that I said, "Listen, I'm just gonna show you how you get your good answer right here. You just know this: ten plus three. You just take the zero off of it and put whatever number it is. That's which how you learn your ten. And she's like, "Yeah, but I gotta show my work." I like saying, you know, they get you. They knew parents were home just teaching their kids. This is the way you do it. This is just how you get the answer. And, you know, teachers are smart to that. They were like, no, you got to show your work, girl. So that's why. And then I was like, okay, well, you need to ask somebody else with this. You got any, like, you know, you don't want me to do history or anything else with them, science and all that. I was horrible at that. I always love math, but trying to figure out this new core math is stupid. Go back to the old ways. It is less work and worked for all those years. Yeah, I don't know. I loved math. I really did love math, too. What was the saying? If you want to leave a note and didn't want your kids to know what it said, just write it in cursive. <laughs> yeah, probably the same way now. They probably, I mean, eventually I know they're going to quit writing, but cursive is just so pretty. And it's smoother. You never have to pick your uh, pencil up. Okay. So, I put a couple of coats on it because I want him to be white, but we're going to scuff him up and make him look like he's um, got a little fur around his edges. All right. All right, let's see. I hate to use a brush, but I'm going to actually use a brush tonight because I want to put... A lot of brown, not a lot, a lot of brown on him, but more than just like what my fingers are going to do. Ooh, I don't want to mess up my pretty paper quite yet. Ooh, I got water in this brush. Hold on. Okay. And I probably could have um, um, sanded him a little bit better, but you know, he's not wood, so 
always say be careful um, sanding and distressing this, you know, with what, what you put on it that's pretty rough. Um, when it's not real wood, because it can pull apart. Now, it'll glue that together easy, but... I want it a little bit darker around the edges. And the only reason why I say that is I really want you to see the, I know you'll see the shape of the bunny, but the more color you put right on the edge, now I'm making that edge just a little bit darker, it'll define him better up against something. That's a good trick if you ever just wanna make this white and you wanted to make your bunny. If you edge him, if you can see how the edge is darker at the bottom. Just make just the edge and pull it on it like this. And it'll really define that edge. What worse is kids can't count money. <laughs> Chris is so mean. He'll go up to the store and um you know how like if your something's a dollar and five cent and you know, if you give them a dollar and five cent and they can enter it in the machine, it's okay. But he's so bad about, oh, hold on, I got a nickel after they put like $5 in there. And I'm like, you just, now you just being mean. Cause he'll say, what are young kids learning these days? And I'm like, I don't know. They have computers. But I will say this for young kids out there. You know, now that I'm so much taken up for them, man, you do need to learn how to count. Um, you know how you're sitting around the dinner table or you're sitting around with your friends and you used to say, I don't know, whatever it is. What's Patsy Klein's middle name? You know what I mean? You used to have to, you know, and say if two people thought they knew the answer and they're like, oh, it's Kimberly, you know, whatever. You know, I'm just making something up. And the other person says, uh-uh, it's this. Well, now, you know, you can just Google it. Kids can just Google anything. I catch myself doing it. I'm like, y'all quit arguing. Give me a second. Doo -doo -doo. What's past Pines middle night? And y'all can tell you. No more, you know, later on, three days later. See, I told you it was this. You know, now you just instantly find out. So, it is probably kind of hard for Chris to understand how there probably are kids out there that don't know, you know, how to count change back to us because they really don't have to do it. I'm gonna probably do his little nose a lot. I just have brown nose because I really don't wanna put whiskers and all that kind of stuff back on him. I mean, we know it's a bunny. Um. My husband told my grandson printing is for lazy people. My grandson went and told the teacher what my husband said, and he wouldn't print. He got in trouble for it. I know, aren't we all for what we tell kids? They can't tell time either. Mm -mm. Hello, I'm late. What's going on? Kim, was it you that told me about the handwriting book? Oh, there. I was showing everybody when we first started that I got it. I think it was you. But I could be mistaken. My ex changed all the typewriter keys on all the typewriters in typing class. Needless to say, he had detention forever. <laughs> oh, man. Right? That is so sad. They can't even tell time anymore. No. My niece and nephew, let's see, they're 30. 30, 32 now, Amy and Bernie. And Stephanie, their sister. I mean, my sister, their mother. Um, we used to laugh all the time when they were little because, you know, digital watch, especially with phones now, why would they really have to know how to tell time? They should, but, you know, you have your phone, you just look on it. Um, so, I mean, it is, a, I would say, because of phones, their generation really is a lot different than us. Because we had to learn all that stuff before you had Google at your fingertips and could fact check or anything. You know, so that's why sometimes I do feel sorry for it. You know, if you give them like your 
your um, price is seven dollars and twenty cents. You give them seven, you know, ten dollars and a quarter, and they have no idea what change you're supposed to get back to you unless they enter it in the computer, and that's okay as long as you always have that computer at your fingertips. But you know, as you get older, you know, you sit home, you're doing bills and things like that. Sometimes you got to just kind of have that. Okay, this is like at least the counting part. Yes, did you get it? Yes, Kim, I got it today. So I showed everybody at the beginning of the video how I haven't had any time to do anything, but I do want to play with it. Maybe Friday when it's raining. Uh, Virginia Patterson, Hanley was, Patsy Klein's real name, <laughs> laugh out loud. Awesome, Karen. It's like the commercial when he walks by and tells Tech to fill up the dog bowl, but the dog can't reach the bowl. I'm s sorry. Laziness. Hold on. I'm sorry. Like, yes. How many of us actually remember phone numbers? Not very many of us. I'm sure we just pick up our phone. You know, before the iPhone, I did that. I'm still bad right now about typing in numbers because I couldn't work anything else. I couldn't work the very first flip phone. When you, you know, when you had to text, you had to hit like one, three times to get like a B or C or something. I never text on a phone like that. Then Neely, I always got her hand-me-down phones. She had a Blackberry, couldn't use it. Here's my little bunny, couldn't use it. The last few um, iPhones, I didn't take the time to learn it, but I don't know, for some reason in the past couple of years, I am more where I just put somebody's number in. I couldn't tell you any of my friends' numbers. I just hit their name. Now, my family, I still all know all their numbers because sometimes I, it's just easier for me to do that than go through a contact list. Where did you get the book? I got it from Amazon, and I'll have to, Kim make her remember what the price is, but she, if you're a member of Sins Crafters, Go on there. We were talking about this book. Um, but when you go on Amazon and you just search um, uh, beginners or help you. Hold on. What did I Google to pull it up? I can't remember. Um, letters for beginners workbook or something like that. A lot of them came up. And this was about the fifth or sixth book down. But I just got it in. Let's see, sometimes it gives you the price on the back of it. It says $18.99 if you buy it in probably a bookstore. Maybe that's what I, I don't think it was that expensive, was it, Kim? I still punch in the numbers, keeps my mind sharp. That's what I tell myself, laugh out loud. Yes, yeah, Shelly, I'm just too lazy to look up somebody's number, especially if I know it. $12.95, okay, so $13. And y'all, it's a pretty thick little book. You know, it's not, it's not tiny. And it has all kind of like little, um, kind of little craft things to help you do. Um, and, but then it has like, you know, like old school. If you like me in kindergarten, you used to just write your letters out, you know, write that in three more times. Um, but yes, I got it today and it's on Prime on Amazon. So when you order it and if you have Prime, you get it in a couple of days. Okay. I got to remember this is the top. Okay. We're going to put our bunny down here, and I kind of want to put him, y'all, all I can see is duck ears now that y'all said that. We're going to kind of put him to the side, so then we'll put our um, word over here, but I'm going to distress this, and I'm going to really distress it more or less using this, um, because you see how he's got a lot of little brown on him. I don't want to put a whole lot of brown on here. I really want to get on the edges. If you think when something starts peeling up or distressing, it always happens on the edge first. And when you use chalk paint, to me, when I paint with this, even though it's a matte finish, it still doesn't look like chalk paint. It looks like, to me, when I do acrylic paint, but once you sand it, it's, it brings out the chalk in the paint. So sometimes, even if you're not trying to distress it, if you'll just bump it a couple of times with your sandpaper, you want it to really have a chalky finish, it will. And I want you to see the difference in these three and that. Well, you can't tell. 
it just does. It just, it really looks chalky, almost dusty. And I'm really using a coarse piece. I think these are like 50 or 60 uh, grit. Um, the higher the number, the finer the grit. Um, but the ones they sell at the Dollar Tree um, are not the fine. They're really rough. So see, I don't have to do this very often. I mean, I don't have to do it as much as if I had like my 120 or 180 over here. Ooh, and I like how that brought that down. See how it brought that white out? And you can leave it like that if you like the white edge. But that's where you, it, it lets you know where you want to put your antiquing. It's the parts that turn white. Me too. All I see now is duck ears. That's all I see when I put it on there. I was like, God, I'm seeing duck ears now. Make sure you photocopy each page before you start, then you'll have more practice. Yes, I probably would do that anyway. I'm weird about that kind of stuff. And plus the book wouldn't be as flat and I would need a flat piece of paper. I just ordered tracing paper and used that. So I wouldn't, yes. I'm just trying to learn how to do the letter. But even if, I mean, if it, who knows with my handwriting? I have a really ugly handwriting. Um, if, if, it, if it looks better with me printing out thankful, and just using my tracing paper, I still have that, and I still will do that. But I'm gonna try, because I don't wanna say I can't do it, because I've never tried. And it seems like my kind of learning, because that's how I learned in kindergarten, was to just write it over and over again. And I think it's probably like, we were talking about tying bows last night. The more you practice, you know, if I'm gonna just do letters like once a month, it probably is not gonna help me. But maybe I'll try to, you know, do a lot of letters. So I'll have it. Okay. All right. My chair isn't as squeaky, but it's still squeaky, y'all. And I, this I am going to go do to do with my finger because I don't want much at all. I just want it a little bit on those places that really got white. Because it's actually now staining the wood that I pulled up. Okay, there we go. See on the edge, just a little bit. Just trying to bring that farmhouse in here just a little bit. My chair, every time I wiggle, I hear it now. Y'all need to quit bringing this stuff to my attention. Like the duck ears. <laughs> now I'm like, every time I walk by this, wherever I put it, I'm gonna say, look at those duck ears. All right, got one done. I really like that. See, not too much. I can't see it when I'm showing you that way. See, just a little bit on the edge. What I um, scuffed up enough. Now the white, we're gonna see a little bit more, so I'm not gonna try to be too heavy on that. Oh, an idea, hold on, ooh, it was swiping off, good. Don't wanna put too much. Okay, see the white. See, not too much on the white either. All right, now that I showed you, I'm gonna try to get this um, on here. Ooh. 
this is really pretty like beachy. But you know, I don't have a beach house. And I, you know, I feel like I can't shove my crafts on people who do. They might be like, oh yeah, I love that. And what if I go to their beach house and it's not up? And I'll be like, so where's my stuff? Because you go to their beach house and they're already beautiful. So it's not like you can say, this will really make your beach house pretty. Because they're always so pretty on their own. Okay. Got a little piece right where it's rubbing right off. Are your carrots that look like a fish? <laughs> look. Do these carrots look like fishies? Kind of, sort of. Not just me. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I need to bring that back out. We haven't looked at it in a while. Now that I can, I had it just on the fireplace in my room. But now that, you know, I think it's, it's not really probably safe to put out Easter stuff now. But for me, at least it's not, um, you know, uh, February. So close to Valentine's Day anymore. All right. Y'all, this would be really pretty in a beach house, like in between two sinks, and you could put like your soaps or hand sanitizers or soap dish, like in a, you know, just flat on the table. So if you got like a little kitchen-y thing too, you know, you could set your oil, salt and pepper on it. See? All you beachy people, call me. <laughs> I love these colors. I think you could actually throw like a juke color in here too. I like it just the way it is, but you could do that to bring a little bit more brown in it. I really like the color that said vintage duck egg looks the best with this um, brown against it too. So maybe we'll make, um, gosh, that's really pretty. Um, things for my bedroom. It look, my bedroom has these colors in it. All right, so not too much. Just enough to kind of where they're not perfect, but it looks like we found it adrift somewhere. I have a beach bathroom and back porch. Terry, you need me to make you something for your beach bathroom? Or you could just make this. I enjoy watching her. For some reason, I haven't seen her for a while. Um, oh, who y'all talking about? I haven't seen her in a while. Love her, Kim. Oh, y'all must be just talking amongst yourself. I haven't seen her in a while. Love uh, only beach I have is Lake Recons. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, okay, you're saying like where you live, Texas, like in the the Gulf. In the beach is different there. Do y'all have like tides in the Gulf? I've only ever been to Panama City once, and I don't think they they didn't have tides. They did have like waves, but they didn't come in and out. Could put a jute bow. Um. Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. I did catch her maybe last week. Okay, y'all told me something else. All right. Psst. Girl, get you one of these. We can put like a little, you know, your mouthwash on it. You know, just like a little bathroom. It's, yes. Like, oh, this little glass thing. You have like a starfish and you could do it, paint it silver. Girl. We'll hook your bathroom up. Okay. All right. Let's 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 see about putting our duck ears on here, y'all. That's all I can see now are duck heads. And I really love the, the double floppy ear. Okay. Now, I have my little blocks that I thought about making it a little, not multi-dimensional, but so he wouldn't be so flat on here. 
like I could put, but, but I don't know. Let me see how it looks. Like if we just put, so he doesn't sit on it. I'm kind of liking that. What do y'all think? I don't know if it'll, I can't really see. I mean, from the front, kind of like, I can let you see it. Like he's just not flat. I think I kind of like him like that. And then I thought about using one of these, but put the word on top of it. Let's see. Um, you, mine is going to, your mind is going to explode. Make sure you have it turned the right way. Oh gosh, oh gosh, thank you, thank you. Cause I don't, oh my God, bless your heart. Who was that that just saved my craft? I would have had to unscrew that little thing. Hold on. I like it lifted off the board. I'm shaking my head. Yes. <laughs> Debbie, it was you last night. Make sure you have it right. Trish, you saved me. I would have had to unscrew this little thing and move it to the other side. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Like it, like it, yeah. You shaking your head, Debbie. I have a big picnic table on the back porch. Would be perfect in the middle of the table. It would. You could, um, oh my gosh. You could get like about four of these and make you like a box and put like something, you know, like candles or something you could see, especially in the middle of a table. Oh, I like it. Yes, you are so, thank you, Mary. I'm not talented in remembering that I had it upside down. That's why I love crafting with you ladies. Y'all make it so awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to put it on here. Be smart, Cynthia. We're going to put it on the bunny. That way we don't have to worry about do we have them in the right place or on the board. Because we kind of want to put it in the center of his duck heads. In the center of his body. That way, even though he's a little multi-dimensional, you won't see these pieces. You know, you'd have to like really turn it to the side. And nobody, if somebody's looking at your project like that, they're looking how that you made it. They're not critiquing it like they don't think it's pretty. All right, so we're going to put him a little cattywampus because I don't want him, I'm going to show you what I mean, cattywampus. I kind of want to put him like that you know not straight because you know maybe straight you can't hit his duck head <laughs> little catty wampus and then we're going to put our word up here so let's go ahead and make sure we got the top the top and once i put this on here i'm gonna have to commit so give me just a second to Make sure I got him exactly. I don't want to put him too much over into the corner because then I wouldn't have anything right here. There we go. Right there. I'm liking it. Um, use a placemat. Ooh, for what? Oh, you're talking about the middle of the table. You're so funny, Shannon. Where did the bunny come from? Kim, the bunny came from the Dollar Tree. And it had these little carrots at the bottom of it that said, like, Happy Easter dangling. I think I have another one. Nope. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I bought more than one of these because I thought the I like the double ears. This is what it started off looking like. Thought so. Y'all, I really want to do something with these little, chi I want some little chicks and some little bunny rabbits. And we haven't done anything with them. Like, you know, especially like they hop hop in and do like different things. I need to bust out my decoupage because and redeem myself. Remember that we did that all? That's where one of the bless your hearts came from. Okay. I'm loving it. See how we did the dark around the edges? It makes him defined. And I'm trying to think if we put this. Let me see. We said we were going to do the bunny. And I, I was hoping maybe I could put it on the carrot. But I don't want to bring in this orange color in it. So we would really just go with the color. Now, do you think? Okay. This will give you a better idea. We turn it over the back. That would be cute to still use one of the carrots, but put the bunny on top of it. So yet yeah, it's bringing the carrot in, or just put the bunny. The only thing about just putting the bunny is I'm thinking, gosh, I wish I had little, 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 little tiny blocks 
to make even um, the bunny stay away from um, the board. Because I think I'm like, I think I even like in the silver with it. Just the bunny. Let's see. Cute, adorable. Uh, yes, no. <laughs> I like it, but I love all your crafts. Yes, but not the orange. Just the word. Yes. Okay, I don't know what just the word. Yes, we definitely wouldn't do the orange. We would make this. I'm, okay, I don't want to mess it up. I like it. And sometimes simple is okay. I don't even kind of like this little was on. This was on the carrot. See these little bows? Better than my little bow. Mm, we'll do it on something else. But see, you know what? I, I mean, I wish I had some little tiny beads. I know that I'm not going to use this, but I just want to see it in my head. Um, not see it in my head. See it on here because I really wish they would make me some little tiny squares. Like if the bunny was up. I'm wondering if I could paint them silver. See, like, do the little bunny off of the board, too. Oh, you can't tell. But it kind of brings it off the board also. I wonder if I get a real... Y'all, I think I like that. I think I do. Let's see. Just putting a smidge of glue on it. Y'all, I love it with the bunny coming off. And what I did, see how it's coming? From it too, I just put two of the little squares right there. I may try to paint those just a little bit like the wood that it's beside. I don't know what color that is. Let me just see. I only put a skosh on it that if it's horrible, I can snatch it off. Where is, there it is, closest to me. Um, I'm looking up there. Paint the blocks to match the, Mary, we thinking a light girl. Paint them the color of the slap. Sandra, we are too. Can you cut some skinny pieces of styrofoam? Yes, but but let's see if, that's a good idea too. But I don't have my styrofoam out here. I actually cleaned up up here today. But let's see. The top looks better neutral color because it almost looks like the um, the silver. I don't know if it's because it's so light. It probably would have been easier for me to do this before I glued it. Okay. So, you don't really see it as much now. Now, this one, <laughs> of course, it would be on two, but I'm going to paint it the white. And uh, see how that goes. And I'm liking how just how simple it is up here. You know, we always like putting a bow on something, putting a piece of greenery on it. You know, putting the, thinking I had to put the carrot behind it. I think I like it just because it's simple. I just coming on. I had my 66th birthday celebration with my two daughters, son-in-law, and two grandchildren. It was a delightful time spent together, family. Darlene, I am so glad. 114. Ooh, I'm getting some of my late people on here, darling. I have craft fever bad watching you live and on YouTube on the TV. <laughs> All right. I'm so glad. I like watching it on YouTube better. Like if I have to go back and look something up. Um, please, everybody, tell her happy birthday, too. Is it to your birthday today? Because it's actually Sherry's birthday today, too. It, was it Darlene that said? Yeah, Darlene that said that. 
Yes. Darlene, I hope you're feeling all better. All right. I'm gonna paint it. It's mostly on the white one or the or the plaster color one. But nothing says I can't paint it half one color and half the other. The other one is that moss color. For some reason, the on the top is not so bad, that color. Okay. And if I hang this up, I like the little hanger on it, the T. You know, we always like to make something that comes up. And not that I would not do that on here, but I'm just kind of liking the way it's simple. Kind of wish I wouldn't have put this one so... Ooh, I didn't put that much glue on it. I'm going to kind of twist it down a little bit. Y'all think I can do that? Like, instead of here, make this come down a little bit more. Yeah. And I didn't put very much glue on them in case we didn't like it, so I can move it a little bit. <laughs> All right, so be a little bit more careful on where I place it. Same thing, just I have this Y up a little bit higher and I'm gonna kind of bring it down a little bit more. Now he looks like about right there. Because this was a little too high. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm putting a little dollop on there now, so. Okay. Swebs, webs, glue webs. Ugh. I think I see glue webs in my sleep. Okay, now I'm liking where it is. Have birthday, have birthday, super cute, have birthday. Yes, I'm feeling well. I had that scare. Fortunately, God is good to me. I know, we were all really worried about you. Okay, I'm gonna save my welcome and my spring. But listen, <clears throat> spring would have been just as cute up here. Just the carrot. Like, I think if we wouldn't have did, we wouldn't have used bunny, you could have, um... The, actually, one of them has, they have Easter or this on it. I would just, with these colors, I would at least paint it another color. Even if you did it just the white of the bunny and just did a little bit of brown around the edges. You still would know this is a carrot. And then these letters would shine through and maybe with one of these colors, you could have painted the happy back or the Easter back on it. Um, I think I, I think really would be just as cute. And you can do the same thing and they would actually hide. Put you two little balls uh, on this side. Use this side. Well, then you'd have to know how to paint happy on there. I need the, I'd need this outline. But you could paint it these colors. I think would have been just as cute. So, um, that is our craft for tonight, y'all. Gosh, I feel like I didn't, you know, um... Put all kind of stuff on it to death. I mean, I'm just going to, if I hang it, I'll use a little hanger just to keep it simple. Um, but let me get a little bit closer so you can see it. Look at my little square up here. Isn't that dirty? And we didn't put any of this on it, but I don't think it needed it. Um, the beachy is not, I mean, it does rust in the salt, but I, I like it like this. I think I'm satisfied. I don't want to touch it anymore because I think it's cute. Where did you get the metal words? Shelly, someone actually brought them for me because I can't go to the dollar store right now, but they were at the Dollar Tree. They're in a pack. Um, it came three in the pack. Uh, like a, a little sleeve. I think I've got the little, it was in a little sleeve like this. All three of them. And they were at the Dollar Tree. How do they do that for a dollar? And then the Dollar Tree is making money. So it couldn't cost like, I think it cost like two cents to make. Good night, see you in the morning. I know you have to get up early, Sharon. Trish, 
Thank you so much. You saved me from having to move that around. Put the little burlap bow on his ear. Let's see if that's going to do. I, I, I kind of was thinking about that. Let's see. I don't know where one is, but here, like, maybe you could put it, like, right there or right in the middle or right here. I think you'd need both of them. I don't know. I just, I'm liking it like it is, but I think that would be really cute. You can make her a little girl. Um, you could actually just put, you could actually put a little messy bow maybe down at the bottom. I wouldn't bring any colors into it. I would just use like a burlap, a jute, that, um, knit, uh, ribbon that I showed you. You know, it's, it's hard to say when I say knit, it almost looks like a net. Um, uh, but, um, y'all think if this was like a big starfish, that would be really pretty because you could paint it the white and distress it too. Um, and, you know, instead of bunny, you could do beach up here. I really do think that these are good beach colors too. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. I want to make this. Okay. I got this at Walmart. And I, next time I'm able to go to the store, I'll look at the price. I have one more. Um, I have like a little glue drip back here. Um, I have one more, but I'll look up because, you know, a dollar, and this was one of three. So, you know, 33 cent, the blocks, you know, I always think like 10 cent. So really, besides what this is, and I guarantee it probably was maybe $5 or something. You got like $6.30 in here. And, um... And you don't have to go buy this, y'all. These are, you could do paint sticks with this. Um, um, and then just put, put together. Sometimes I just, I catch myself making things from scratch more often. So every, I think the last time I was in there, I did grab like three or four different, um, you know, backgrounds already put together for you. Um, Bunny came from the Dollar Tree, yes. A uh, mesh ribbon would be pretty. Window pane ribbon. Oh, gosh, I'm glad y'all know all these names. Can you tell me what colors you use? Yes. and I But I use uh, Dixie Belle. But listen, let me tell you about paint. Sometimes you can go on the internet. I think you can Google this. That you can put in, like, this is Dixie Belle Vintage Duck Egg. Similar color and it'll tell you the same color in another brand. I know it used to do that. I don't know if it's got competitive where they don't do that anymore, but I use vintage. Um, let me put it right here so you'll be able to see it. Can you see it? Okay. On the very end, the two pieces on the end are this vintage duck egg. Um, this is Dixie Belle Sea Glass. It's the other two colors, like right here. So it's a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can see these colors or, okay. And then we use the, the moss is Waverly. You get it at Walmart. It's the very center piece. The one in the center is the only one that's different. And then these two colors, the white, same color, they are the plaster, which is kind of in between an off-white and a white and the Waverly. These two you can get at Walmart. Um, and then I use the antiquing in the Waverly, which is just kind of like a, a, a stain wax to do. And I did the bunny was in the plaster also. And I just rubbed that on my finger. The technique on how I use it, because I used a brush on the bunny to really put a lot on him. Um, but you're just, I would just watch the replay, just speed through it and find where I was painting. Uh, can you tell me, I missed the first part. So cute. Uh, Enjoy watching you. Thank you so much. And um, I really like these colors. Maybe I'll do another project in these colors so that way wherever I put this, I can have, um, you know, these colors together. <laughs> so they'll match because I'm trying to think of beside my bedroom are these colors. But it's not beachy, but they are these colors. So I can put it in there. Okay. Y'all have a good evening and I will see you tomorrow.